Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'll be doing a detailed review on this Cuisinart Automatic Grind and Brew 12 cup programmable coffee maker, model number DGB-400. I purchased this off of Amazon for about $100 what it normally retails for. I really like the looks of this coffee maker. It's got an automatic built-in grinder that's gonna grind the, the whole bean coffee, shoot it into the filter basket, and then brew the, the coffee. This has got the glass carafe. This one also has a warming plate that's gonna keep the coffee warm. So let's go up here and take a look. We gotta release the hinge so the lid can lift up. Here's where you're gonna put the water. It does have a carbon water filter. And then here's the grinder. We can take the grinder all the way out. Here's what the grinder looks like. It's gonna grind the coffee, the whole bean coffee, and then shoot it down the chute all at the same time, automatically. And here's where it's gonna shoot. It's gonna shoot it right into the filter basket. So if we press over here on the left side, there's a release button. Press that, this filter basket will come out. This is where it's gonna shoot that ground coffee. And it does come with a reusable filter. It also comes with eight to 12 cup basket style coffee filters. You can use a, a paper filter in here or this, but you never use them both at the same time. It's either or. And this filter basket, it comes off for easy cleaning. Okay, so the theory behind this is it's gonna grind the coffee, it's gonna shoot it down in here into the filter basket, and then the hot water brew is gonna come in here and brew the coffee. And if we look up here, here's where the hot water is gonna come out right there. I really like the control panel. It's got a program, you can program this to brew you a pot of coffee in the morning, it'll turn the grinder on and then brew the pot of coffee automatically. It's got a one to four cup button. If you're gonna brew a small batch of coffee, it pauses the brewing process to extract more flavor when you're brewing a small batch. It's also got a clean light that lets you know when it's time to descale. And then there's a cleaning mode to put the coffee maker in. Then we can turn the grinder off. So if you wanna brew ground coffee already, so say you want you don't want to use the grinder. You don't want to, you don't have any whole beans, but you've got some coffee around. You can put just regular ground coffee right here and then close it and then turn the grinder off. And then when you press the brew button, it won't turn the grinder on. It just automatically starts brewing it like a normal coffee maker. And then we got a nice big button here. That's our brew. That's when you're, when you want to start the brew, you're going to press that button over here on the right hand side. We got a window to show you how much water you've you've put in the reservoir. It's gonna brew whatever amount of water you put back here, that's how much it's gonna brew when you press the brew button. Even if you press the one to four cup button, if you've got 12 cups of water back here, it's gonna brew all 12. If you only wanna brew six, just fill it up to the six mark and it only brew six cups. So let's pour the water in. I'm gonna do a full 12 cup pot of coffee. So the craft pour is really nice. It's got a nice big opening. I can see I got a little bit more to go to fill it up to the 12 mark. Okay, so we got our water installed. Make sure the lid is on your carafe because it's gonna need that to push up that little plunger so the coffee can come out of the brew basket. Again, make sure you've got a filter in there. I'm gonna use the reusable. Make sure this lid is on. All of this has to be installed. Now we're gonna fill the grinder up with coffee beans. So you're simply gonna take the lid off it does have a max, so the max is pretty much to the top. And it comes with this nice scoop with a little brush, but you're gonna put one scoop of whole bean coffee in there for every cup you're gonna brew. So I'm gonna do the full 12 cups. So I'm gonna put 12 of these, these, this is a tablespoon. If you don't have the scoop, use a tablespoon, but put 12 of these in here. That will be filled up to the max. So you don't even have to, if you're doing 12 cups, you can just fill it up to the very top. Okay, so I've got 12 scoops of whole bean coffee in there. You're gonna put the lid on. Now this is gonna be very important to watch this. This is an interlock switch. So now up here, we've gotta position this so that that interlock switch is right there. The machine will not operate unless this presses down on that white thing, which presses a switch. That lets you know that it's all closed and nobody can get in here and, and mess with that while the grinder's going. So we've got our water, coffee beans, push this down. Make sure this snaps. And then it's very simple to operate. You're just gonna come up here and press the brew button. So a 
it's automatically going to grind that and then shoot it into the filter basket. Okay, so the grinder stops automatically. Now it's gonna be just like a normal coffee maker. It's gonna heat that water up and brew it over the coffee. Okay, so it starts brewing right away. We're about to the three minute mark and we've almost got three cups. So it's about a cup a minute. The water coming out the bottom, or the coffee coming out the bottom of the filter basket's about 184, 185. When the coffee maker is done brewing the coffee, it will keep the, the warming plate on for two hours. That's the default. But you can adjust that from zero hours or zero minutes to four hours. And it will shut the coffee maker off automatically. Okay, we're at the halfway mark. And the coffee coming out the bottom is about 192 degrees now. Miss Fiona has come for her treat. Okay, so towards the end of the, of the brew, it does get a little bit louder and you will have some steam coming off the top. Okay, so that took about 10 minutes to brew the full 12 cups. Okay, so you do get about four, three or four little beeps to let you know that the coffee maker's done brewing. The blue light stays on to let you know that it's keeping the warming plate on. Again, the default is two hours, but you can adjust that from zero to four. Okay, so let's see how the coffee did. The craft pour is really nice. And we end up with about a hundred and, yeah, that's a really hot cup of coffee, 183 degrees. That's a very hot cup of coffee. Here's what the coffee looks like. Anytime you can grind your coffee beans before you brew your pot of coffee, it's gonna taste better. And this pot of coffee does taste really good. I've been drinking it out of here and it makes a very good cup of coffee. Okay, so let's open it up, see how it did. Here's the grinder. We'll take it out. Let's open this up, see how the coffee, see it got shot into the brew basket. We can lift it up and see that it did not overflow the brew basket. Looks like it got everything pretty well saturated. You can lift just the brew basket out or you can take this whole assembly off. Let's take a look at the grinder. So you do get some of the steam that comes up into the grinder but all of the coffee did get ground and shot down that chute. Now we wanna clean this out. You can wash this in the dishwasher but we wanna make sure this is really dry before you put it back in. So cleanup is very simple. All of these parts are dishwasher safe and they're all BPA free. This is a very nice coffee maker. It makes a great pot of coffee. It does come with a really nice instruction manual. Cuisinart does make good instruction manuals with lots of pictures, easy to understand. I like the blue LED backlit display for the clock. I'm really happy with this purchase. Thanks everybody for watching.